So you just picked up a new sample pack and now you're left wondering, how do I get the most value out of my purchase? Well, today I'm going to show you a few tips on how to achieve just that. We have a lot to talk about, so let's just jump right in. Today we're working with a pack from Production Music Live. The pack is called Organica. First thing we can do is we can make drum racks out of all the different sounds. What I would recommend is, for example, with the kicks, make a drum rack, put them all into a drum rack of that. And now if you play your beat here, you could just pick which kick is going to suit to your song. So let's play it. And you can really quickly pick just the right kick for your song. I also love to do this with claps. So if we go into the sample back here, single claps, pick them all, add them to the drum rack. And now we're going to play them on the push here. And I love to do this kind of flams. So instead of just having one sound at the time, you can play multiple sounds at the time. So like this. And you can really make these sounds your own by combining them like that. It also works great with percussion sounds. So let's go down to percussions, put them in a drum rack. You tend to use them in a different way than when you just addition one at a time in the browser. And now let's try grooving along with the track, see if we find something. And I found this pattern because they're there for me to play them with the fingers. Now back to kicks. What if you find a kick in here? And say you like the sustain of it, but not the transient. Well, you can just combine two kicks, one for the transient and one for the sustain. I found this kick here and this one. Cut everything off the sustain here, make it super short. Put a low cut on it. Now it sounds like this. And then on the sustained one, I'm going to put a high cut on it. I'm going to put a little bit of fade at the start. Together, they're going to sound like this. Now you made your own kick with two samples. Now if we go into the grid and we move stuff around, if we look at this sample, for example, here, it has that shook suction into it. We want to move it, so now it's going to hit like this on the kick. Another thing you can do is put sounds into a simpler and play them chromatically. I love to do this with tom sounds. So I found this tom sound and I put it into a simpler like this and now I can play it. That's perfect if you want to make a pattern out of it. So say we have the kick here and the pre-clap. It functions like a bass line now. One cool thing you could do with your drum rack is you can section out your drums into one big drum rack like this. Say if you have a push, make them different colors. Now kicks are here, snares are here, hi-hats and percussion. This sample library has a lot of shaker loops in it. What I really like to do is to take small snippets out of the shaker loops and move the starting point. I'll show you what I mean. Let's find a really nice one. Say this one. I'm going to take it down. Now go into the clip. And what you can do now is make a loop bracket like this, Command L, and move this around as you're playing the song so you can find the perfect loop. Now we can use one of my favorite functions in Ableton, and that is to use this preserve transients. Do this arrow here. Now you can shorten and tighten up the sound. Let's put your two down, maybe. You could even make it shorter, so it goes like this. Or make it three, so it's uneven. That's pretty cool. There's also one really fun feature you can do, and that is to slice up a percussion loop. So say we have this one here. And we do slice to new MIDI track like that. And just say built in from the transients. That's okay. Then we get this one here. It's all sliced up playing the loop like this. Now we can go actually in and quantize it without warping it, which is kind of nice. It's kind of an old school way to do this. Cool thing here is that it gives you a lot of options how to treat all these samples together now, like give it attack and less sustain. Let's try that. Now you can also just go in here and make a way shorter loop. Say you want this one and you can just play around, maybe pick another section up there or make it uneven as we did before, like something like that. Another thing you can try out is to comp a lot of percussion loops together. So here I made a few lanes of percussion loops. Now let's try to comp this all together. Let's just pick something to start with. This section here. Let's listen to it. That's cool. Now if you just put a lot of effects on it, so Decapitator, RC20, and really crush these loops together so they sound like a whole, it sounds like this.
this is a lot of fun. Something you can also do is to put a vocoder on a whole percussion loop. Say I have this bunga loop right here. Let's pitch it a little bit down, tighten it up with this feature here. Now put a vocoder on it and some sidechain compression to the kick. Let's listen to it. You can, of course, automate the vocoder and make some of the hits longer. Also, one thing you could do is to create risers or like sound effects out of almost anything. So this library has some lovely sounds here in this called metals. And I took this one, reversed it, pitched it down, moved that tail somewhere like that. And now we got something like this. This one I made before. This as a kind of a suction to the loop starting again. And one final one, you can basically make any kind of longer sample sound that has a lot of transient in it into a loop by warping it. I found this sound here, take it in here, and now I'm just gonna force all these transients onto a beat. Let's listen to it now. Of course, we can shorten up those transients. And now it sounds like this. Put you a little bit down. That's lovely. Try this trick out. It's a lot of fun. And that's about it. If you like the content that I'm making, please remember to subscribe, leave me a like, and a comment. You can also support the channel over on Patreon. It really helps me out. Okay, until next time, toodaloo.